I'm Letizia, I'm 13 years old. I can walk, write and go out with my friends. But before I couldn't because I have myocardial disease. That means that I can't use glycogen as a source of energy for my muscles, but now I use fat instead. I'm very thankful that my mother found out about the ketogenic diet because without her I'd still be in a wheelchair. On the fourth day of the keto diet, I told my mom, Mom, I'm finally healthy. Turns out that I'm not actually healthy, but I feel so much better and everyone I know noticed a dramatic change and they couldn't believe that it was all thanks to a diet. I will be on a keto diet for the rest of my life, which I'm very happy about because there are so many better options on the keto diet than on the normal one. For example, panna cotta or pesto sauce. I hope that more kids with Ricardo disease or either other glycogen storage diseases will start the keto diet because you feel so much better when you're on it. Hi, I'm Lucia Ronica. I'm a research scientist at Stanford University where I investigate how diet can change the activity of our genes through a process called epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study of how lifestyle factors, things like diet, but also stress, exercise, or emotions can change the activity, not the sequence of our genes. And in this way, impact our health, but also the predisposition to disease. In particular, I'm investigating how two different diets, a very low fat and a very low carb diet can change the activity of our genes to epigenetic mechanisms. Our study is the largest study ever undertaken to compare a low carb and a low fat diet in terms not only of weight loss, but also of many other variables, including microbiome, blood lipids, and epigenetic changes. There are fascinating results that we are collecting now about this study, and some of them show that the different diets can uh, induce different epigenetic changes. In the past 10 years, during my research, I've seen that diet can induce powerful changes in our health, but as a scientist, I also get the opportunity to go to conferences and hear the story of other people. Last year, I went to a conference um, where I met um, a lady, Barbara, who is now here, came, came to Naples to visit me. Um, and uh, she told me a difficult story with a happy ending of how Barbara and her beautiful daughter, Letizia, managed to overcome the difficulties of uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, a very um, severe genetic disease. Barbara now is here in Naples to tell us about this amazing story. Since the day Letizia was born, she transformed our family with her happiness, energy and cuteness. Everything changed in 2013, where my beautiful, healthy, nine years old daughter got sick. She had a mysterious disease that uh, was damaging uh, all her muscles. And after four months, we got the diagnosis of McCardles, also known as glycogen storage disease type 5. This is a genetic disease due to the lack of an enzyme that transforms glycogen into glucose. I'm missing an enzyme that is able to bring the glucose to the muscles when it's stored. So after the diagnosis of this disease, uh, what was the therapy that uh, doctors suggest you? They told us that as she cannot get the glycogen from the muscle, it was very good for her to eat glucose and carbs. At least 65% carbohydrate diet plus sugary drinks with at least uh, 20 grams of glucose when she had to do intense movement. We followed this diet over seven months 
and Letizia was getting worse and worse every day. She ended in a wheelchair and she couldn't do anything, needing assistance every day for everything. I decided to change her diet completely and to put her on fat metabolism because studying the disease, I read that we have also an alternative metabolism that use fat instead of sugar as a source of energy for the muscles. I decide to change uh, the way of eating of all our family, saying ciao to pasta, pizza and a lot of Italian dishes. And, Must have been very difficult for you. Well, uh, <laughs> we had such a big problem and the desperation was to see our daughter losing everything was so strong that we didn't care about that. And also the rest of the family joined this adventure because we wanted to help Letizia. Actually, uh, with this diet, we all feel better. So she helped us too. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm, I'm sure that was very difficult. So did you also have to face bureaucratic challenges in uh, the process? Yes. Uh, not at the real beginning because uh, I didn't think about telling the doctors about the diet because I didn't think it was such a big deal and I didn't think it, it could work. I thought it was just I cook what I want for my daughter and that's it. It's not. Uh, a ketogenic diet is not really a diet, it's a metabolic big change and all the kids they are hospitalized when they are put on a ketogenic diet and uh, for the first three days Letizia was feeling very very sick and we also had uh, what they call keto flu headache very tired but she was very sick already so it, it was worse for her we started on the 21st of September 2014 with the butter, olive oil, uh, heavy cream, every kind of fat food that before we consider unhealthy. After four days, Letizia woke up and she told me, I don't have McCardle's disease anymore. I was shocked. Uh, that day, instead of pushing her in a wheelchair, we walked to school and that was the best day of my life. So there is a marker in the of blood course. of uh, uh, muscle damage. Uh, the name is CK and uh, it's something that usually is inside the muscles and the maximum value is 200 and Letizia had 40,000. That is so much more than a muscular dystrophy. It's like her muscles are in a very bad condition and a high risk of uh, kidney failure. So now she's just above the normal and her kidney are working perfectly. Before she had problem going to the toilet because uh, of course all these broken muscles gave so much problem. This is um, of course an ultra rare disease. The symptoms are actually very, very common. Insulin resistance, being overweight, having chronic fatigue syndrome, muscle pain, psychological issues and with a ketogenic diet uh, we had a very positive results with all these problems. Letizia, do you like the food? Yes, yeah, delicious. <laughs> What's your favorite? Yeah. Probably the mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> so it's possible to find low-carb food also in Naples. <laughs> and uh, yes. yeah, it is possible. Um, Actually, the Italian diet, uh, I think that the secret of the healthy Italian diet is the olive oil yes, and uh, yes, yes. yes. And, and the uh, slow food. And the slow food, exactly. Yeah. Home cooking. <laughs> Home cooking, yes, not no process. Exactly. They have in Stockholm, where we live, um, a ketogenic tea that follow uh, mostly the kids uh, suffering from epilepsy with this diet. So now we are, um, we are helped by this team that is from my nutritionist, neurologist. Letizia go to periodical blood tests that are, they are going very, very well. And uh, we feel lucky because um, you really need this support. You need it because she must have a special meal at school 
and school only prepare, prepare special meal if you have a medical paper that say that she must speak like that and also they gave us a list of all uh, drugs that doesn't have sugar inside yeah. like if she got sick she can have an antibiotic she can have every drugs she needs but sugar free because we don't think about like drugs and supplements and vitamins but sugar is everywhere we have a paper uh, they wrote it uh, not only in Swedish but also in English that says that uh, she's on a ketogenic diet so if we have to go to an emergency room all over the world uh, we, we travel quite a lot so uh, the doctors and the nurses in that hospital they can do what is right for her not giving her sugar in any form so it, it's really useful and did you get rid of the wheelchair yes of course she doesn't need it every day uh, she uh, walk at least 10,000 steps we bought this this bracelet for measuring uh, the step you do every day so we know and if she didn't uh, walk enough we had a treadmill at home here because uh, Letizia is still the only pediatric patient with mercurial disease uh, that had this second chance in life. Uh, the other parents know about it because I told everybody, uh, but of course they went to their doctor and all the doctors told us, no, 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 high fat, are you crazy? Don't do that. I understand, you, you are very scared. You have already a very sick kid. And before Letizia was hospitalized every single month, and uh, now uh, she's fine, but they ask the doctor, the doctor say, no, you are not supposed to go against uh, medical advice if you have a sick kid. So um, I hope some doctor are listening to us and with an open mind. That's, I had desperation. We were so desperate that we tried. We, we, we didn't have any choice but they must use science and an open mind because these kids, they have a life, a dreams, future, and they are now surviving instead of living a full life. And I really would, would like for them what we've been so lucky to have. We found these doctors in Sweden, they listened to us, of course they checked, that's, they are supposed to do that because, I mean, you cannot do something crazy to your kid or something unhealthy or something that is damaging a kid. And, but they, they, they accept it, they understood it. So, and we have papers from them and we have blood tests before and after and we have all the medical documentation. Uh, so if anybody want to try this, lifelong this is a lifelong uh, way of living uh, for our family all of us but i can tell you we all feel better even my husband our son and it's really a second chance in life think about it thank you very much thank you for Jill. being here i hope that your story will encourage other people to um, encourage their doctors to try alternative approaches to manage this difficult condition. Also because um, although uh, Letizia is the only pediatric patient in the world to uh, have chosen this approach, there is evidence that a ketogenic diet uh, can uh, um, help many other adult patients with these conditions. So your beautiful and empowering story will uh, uh, hopefully bring an happy ending for, uh, to the story of many other people that are listening to us today. Thank you very much for Thank being you, here. Thank you.